guys, welcome back to Hot Topics with Donna. Listen, as you saw before, we interviewed some amazing, amazing models. So now we'll get ready to see some designers that's going to be in the show. So I have one here on the red carpet. Can you tell us your name? Hi, I'm Tasha Robinson. And so how long have you been designing clothes? So I've been actually designing clothes since the age of 12. Wow. So but, um, I joined the Marine Corps um, and I did 20 years in the Marine Corps and then my brand at once designed and I came to life and was birthed in 2015. Wow. And so at such a young age, what was going through your mind when you just start drawing and I can do this? So how did it all start? What really got me started was on floor nine on the floor and very, very petite. There was nothing in the stores that could fit me. So I basically got started just playing with dolls, making Barbie doll clothes, sewing for my friends, and then I just started making clothes for school. I would wake up early in the morning and then make me out. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. So, luckily, I just decided to start my own brand myself. Um, I don't know how to sew, but I have sketches in my mind. So, just a word of advice for me, how should I start with something? Just get started with the fabric and if you can, manipulate fabric on your body or manipulate fabric on a mannequin. This piece that I get on is a piece of fabric okay. that I draped over my body and tied it across. Wow. So the uh, one shoulder look is like a trendy thing right okay. now. So you go with the trends and just play around with fabric. Play around with fabric that you made um, that may not be too expensive and just play around and see what happens. And so you see how long did it take you to create um, if I'm very inspired, meaning I can't sleep at night, uh -huh. I'll get up and I'll do it that day. And, wow. <laughs> and so, how, what's going to be your look today? So my the theme way? today is a military couture ball. Wow. So you have to wait and see. Okay. So, <laughs> here you go. This is one of our uh, designers for the show. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, thank so you. where are you saying you're located? I'm located in um, Jacksonville, North Carolina. And if you want to find me, you can Google me at Once Designs by Tasha Robinson. Well, Tasha, thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing your um, garments on the runway. Continue success in your life and just follow your dreams. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. So we have, I don't know how many designers that we have, but when we get started, you're going to see amazing pieces race the runway on these beautiful models. So you're going to see Tasha's line and come across the stage. So we're going to be waiting. We'll give you a sneak peek when they start getting dressed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And how can I follow you? Um, I'm on um, Hot Topics with Donna on okay. D Taylor Network on okay. Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. But I also have cars that I can get. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And so we have another designer coming up on the red carpet. Hi, how are you? I'm good. So tell us your name, the name of your um, clothing line, um, so we can know um, how to follow you as well. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Goddess Erica Carter, and my company is called Walter Fabulous by Little. You can find me on Facebook at Goddess Erica Carter. Uh, as well as Royal Designs by Lyrical. Instagram is going to be Goddess Lyrical. And so how did you get started in being a designer? Well, in 2016, I wanted to do a dance. Mm -hmm. And I went to the store to buy me some of the clothes. clothes. Yes. You know, I was like, oh, this is cute, this is cute. Picked up a tag, I was like, mm-mm. No. I said, okay, girl, I'm going to do this dance, but I need clothes to dance. Right. Like, he said, go to Walmart, look at that fabric, pick out what you want, and I'll show you what you do. So I made my first two outfit, dance, that's me. And that's so funny because I dance as well, but I never thought about, like, you know, trying to put it, because like you said, those outfits are expensive. They, they are. really are expensive. So, do you make rhetorical um, clothing for yourself all the time, or do you order them sometimes? I make my own rhetorical clothes, but I also make my own clothing. Okay. So, okay. Um, so I pretty much just decided, if, hey, if I could do the church for why not clothes? Absolutely. I said, my thing was, the problem that I had 
corner store shopping was I could find clothes that were cute. They were either too small or too big, yes. or they just didn't fit you the way they fit everyone else in the picture. And so is this one of your pieces this that you one have of my on? Pieces. This is very beautiful. Thank you. And so with this piece, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. And so what are your lines going to be today on the runway? Um, my line is called Kaleidoscope, mm -hmm. and it's just an array of colors, mm -hmm. um, designs, just different. It's just different. I love African fabrics, and that's mostly what I design with. And this one, I decided to throw in a couple of other fabrics. It's just fun and colorful. Right. So how often do you sew? How often do you make designs? As often as I can. <laughs> as often as I can. I love sewing. Um, right now, I'm working on two weddings. Um, I'm stepping a bride with her items, and then a, a clean pussy, and then the rest of the bride. Okay, so, except for the bride. But I, I try Try to learn to do other things as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, we're looking forward to seeing your line on the runway, um, and hopefully we can connect. You know, Please. so just continue to be amazing and just continue to follow your dreams and your purpose. Thank you. Thank you. So here we have it, two designers. I have no idea who the other designers are, but when we um, see them on the runway, we're going to be so excited. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're having fun. People are trickling in. So I will be back later to do some more updates on the venue, on the vineyards, the vendors. So guys, thanks. Bye.